a girl sitting on the sofa cleaning her pistol, someone screaming at her claiming that we are going to City Ming. I can't afford so we can't take you and Goosey along with us. You burdens. Here's her uncle Laceo throwing a card at her, here's $50,000. I've already done more than enough for you as your uncle. She is Gu Mang the protagonist of this story, replied no need thank you, uncle. I'll take care of my brother just take Gu Yin with you. Taking care of your brother. Her uncle was fierce irritated filled with anger. A person who was expelled from high school for fighting and brawling. How can you have the audacity to say that? Pointing his finger at her do you know how to make money? What will you use to take care of him? Do you think it's still like when your parents were alive? I kindly offer to take you in, don't be ungrateful. She doesn't bulge don't worry about us uncle. Using her pistol to shake her uncle hand of her. Sitting crossing her legs. I do have a bit of money, you can keep this Gu Yin. He almost exploded unless Gu Yin interrupted stopping him. Gu Mang Yu. Uncle don't be angry with her there's just her personality. Using this situation in her favor to mock Mang. Gu Yin looked down on her. I know you are angry that our parents left all their inheritance to me, but it's written in the will and I can't go against it. If you and Gu Si want to stay here it's fine with me, I don't mind. Gu Mang started packing her things and picked up her helmet. No need. Wait wait before we get to main story, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment down below. So let's begin. Started walking past through them in a calming sense. It's getting late I should go pick up Goosey from school. Starting her bike wearing helmet and just like that ride out of the villa. Her uncle console Gu Yin, just ignore her this time we finally got the opportunity to go to City Ming to develop. Focusing on the greedy opportunity to seize. From now on you'll be in the company of high class elites and you won't need to deal with these lowly people anymore. Gu Yin looking all innocent, I'll follow whatever uncle says. Thinking finally got this, Gu Mang I will climb higher and higher become a person of status. And you just die in poverty in the small place. Gu Mang riding her bike at school, looking all cool bike rider. Looking at the time on her watch. TCH, I've arrived early, all the bustling around the school. A car stopped around her, lowering the mirror. Mr. Lu this is the place. This handsome man is Lu Chengzhu, the third young master of the Lu family. The most prestigious and wealthy family in City Ming. Irritated by this ask don't tell me the divine doctor, I'm looking for is here. The drivers hesitated but this is where the last signal appeared. How long has the signal been detected? Less than a minute. He strikes, less than a minute and you're dare to bring me here. The person has long run away. The environment inside the car is chilly. All right let's go back and let our men continue searching. The driver suddenly got a call. Mr. Lu sorry I need to take a call. He responds as if he doesn't care, okay. Glances at the window Gu Mang Beauty, that girl. A little boy came towards her. Why are you running? Did you come from the villa? Did Gu Yin leave? He was Gu Mang little brother Gu Si. Finally able to shake off this hole, calls for universal celebration. Giving him his helmet, that idiot really thinks the Lei family care about her. They're just eyeing the small fortune in her name. Upon looking at him, Lu Chengzhu shakes his head. He was disappointed with this such a shame to become a mother at such a young age. He misunderstood the fact that they actually were siblings. The driver informs, Mr. Lu knew information. There's an auction at heaven tomorrow night, and the national divine doctor might appear. As long as we can find him madam can be saved. Lu Chengzhu instant said, what are we waiting for? To City Ming. He drive past her street. Gu Mang looked back at that car. Her brother clutches her shirt. Mang, Mang. Where are we going after this? While putting on the helmet. Gu Mang replied, I've already made arrangements. All of a sudden she got a call. It was her friend, Hei Gu. Her name was Lin Shuang. Her brother gets all excited seeing her, Lin are you at the bar? Is the bar fun? As she was enjoying its fun look how passionate and fiery it is behind me. She asked him kid let your sister bring you here for some fun. He got all pumped up that would be great. Gu Mang hold her brother just don't lead my brother astray. Tell me why you are looking for me. The Lu family has always been looking for the national divine doctor to treat their madam. 
I've interfered a bit, tricked them into coming to the bar tomorrow night. Are you coming to play? Aren't you quite interested in him? Gu Mang was troubled so happy to cause trouble. Told her to be careful you better be cautious with Lu Chengzhu. Though she was fearless, how could it not be conscious about him the famously eminent third young master of Lu family in the capital? You're really not coming. There's an auction at the bar tomorrow night, with the jade piece as the finale. It's said to have calming and focusing effects. Luring her for coming. It's been hyped up quite a bit. You have been studying treatments related to the nervous system in the recent years, right? Gu Mang said send the address to me. Her brother already, Mang where are going now? Getting starting her bike to City Ming. City Top Entertainment Club Heaven. Arriving at the hotel, Lin said you seem a bit too eager rushing straight to the auction as soon as you arrived. While Mang was sitting on the couch, Lin said I haven't even had the chance to take Goosey around yet. Lin next to Mang, hey, you really want that sleeping jade so badly? Looking through her phone, well yeah somewhat useful. You look like you're determined to win this time. Her brother came into the field, I'm not boasting, but if there's something Mang wants, she surely will get it. Lin holding him, ah. Goosey it's just adorable. Making me want to have a baby son myself. As Goosey was struggling for life. Mang save me. G Mang glances at Lin stop messing around, it's about to start. Goosey takes a sip of milk to cool down. As the auction started, ladies and gentlemen, the next item and the last one for the night's auction, is the sleeping jade. I believe everyone has heard of the legend surrounding this jade. So I won't go into it. The starting bid. Everyone started bidding but Gu Mang waited. Lin thought of naught. Hey Mang look up there. It's Lu Cheng Zhu looks like you've got competition today. Mang thinking true chaos seekers you all are. Trying to get me worked up. Someone bided 10 million for this. Well who else it can be. It was Lu Cheng Zhu. Mang asked Lin stop gawking place a higher bid. She placed a higher bid on Mang request. 15 million. Lu Chen Zhu friends was shocked, wow this is the first time I've seen someone dare to compete with our mister. Lu, don't you feel a hint of crisis? But he was smoking. Mister, Lu personally came to the auction for his grandmother's illness. He won't likely to give up easily, right? Cheng Zhu asked is that jade really miraculous as they say? Even better than sleeping pills. He replied never seen or tried it myself, it's all hearsay. But things auctioned on the Heaven Ocean House can't be fake. Upon hearing it he bided again with higher price of 30 million. His friend says TSK, you really are. Something, our rich and imposing Mr. Lu. With a bid like that who would dare to compete with you? This auction lacks suspense, so boring. Let me congratulate Mr. Lu in advance for winning the auction. At that time the announcer got all excited. Any higher bids? Is anyone else bidding any higher than this? Gu Mang gave the hint to Lin to raise a higher price for the auction item. We bid 50 million, her brother giving his satisfaction upon his sister, awesome Mang. The announcer got all numb, feel chills down his spine. So this is how auctions are supposed to be. Others increase by tens of thousands. But you jump by millions. Even if you have money, that's not how you spend it. His friend got shocked. Damn who is that so reckless to compete, with Chen Zhu for the item. A kid, where did this trio of mother and child come from? Interesting, they all look pretty good. Chen Zhu bid even higher price, 60 million. Lin approaches Mang, how much money do you have? Can you bid more? Gu Si said Mang is out of money, we scrapped together 60 million. Lin was afraid, what to do I've been spreading a lot lately, and I've only got 10 million left in my account. Probably not enough to compete with Mr. Lu upstairs. Goosey said Lin, haven't you kicked that habit of announcing, Lin will take care of the expenses here today. Whenever you go out, she said this habit of helping others for enjoyment, why change it? Lu Cheng Zhu smirking looking down to them while holding a drink. Also Gu Mang looking at him in anger. I remember he placed an order with me, wanting me to help find someone. From now on, Business with this person, starts at 10 times the market price. Whether I accept or not depends on my mood. Lin winked and said I understood. Gu Mang stands up thinking, got money right. Mr. Lu. Huh, okay. 
Lu Cheng Zhu, I'll remember you. She puts her hoodie on looking all savage. She just went ahead, her brother gets off his seat. Lin, we are going to take off, bye. She waved her hand at them. Thinking the two of them. Who would have thought a single jade, could start a conflict between them. I have a premonition that there's going to be some good drama. As she went out, her brother went after her. Mang don't be mad, while clinging to her arm. We, Mang bump into someone. They were old men, as a girl, it's not safe for you to return to City Ming. So late at night, how about we take you home? Giving off a creepy smile. I think you just shouldn't go back. We have booked a top suite in the hotel next door. Let's have fun together. They ganged up against them. My sports car is also very comfortable. Want to give it a try? Her brother thinking, here comes a few seeking death. Looking all gloomy and smiling. Provoking a boss in a bad mood. Are you tired of living? In a bad mood she said, piss off. They looked at each other thinking what she said. Ha ha, she actually told us to piss off. They started making fun of her. How to piss off, on the sheets. Then I'm very good at that, girl. I can teach you for free, ha ha ha. One of them tried to reach her thinking. It's rare to meet such a beauty. I'm going to enjoy myself today. Little girl, come here. She blocked his hand and break it on the spot. Then she smashed him on the floor. All of them get angry like seriously. Dare to it our bro, get her. Take her down and teach her a lesson tonight. They all came to attack her. She got all scary and said, go to hell. She started to fight them one after another. But once she hit anyone they could not get up. One of them tried to run. Devil. This woman is a devil. While all his fellows were on the floor could not move an inch. Her hand approaches him, knocked him down, quite daring. He started to apologize, sorry, I'm sorry, learn how to be human. Got it, after this she went away. Her brother making fun of them. I'm telling you, you guys really have no foresight, messing around with my sister. Life is short enough, and you folks has just had to take shortcuts. She unwraps her pop and starts eating it, while someone watching her take down all those men. Goosey asked where we are going next. Her reply to Uncle Lu's house. It was Lu Cheng Zhu who was watching them. His friend said, are the young ladies these days all this fierce? Getting creeps and chills. A girl kicking a guy over six feet tall to the ground. Is she even human? Questioning her humanity. Thinking about her Lu Cheng Zhu thought. She has quite the temper. Smiling thinking, however I'm actually looking forward to seeing her again. Upon her visit to the Lu family, Uncle Lu asked Gu Mang and Gu Si to sit down and have a breakfast with them. Don't be shy, treat this like your own home, and let me know if you need anything. He is the director of City Ming Education Department. By the way, you arrived late yesterday and haven't met my family yet. Gu Si sat. He introduced her, his wife, daughter and son. His daughter thinking, why is dad so nice to this girl? It feels strange, his thought that Mang is pretty. She sat down while giving regards to Mrs. Lu. While she had done an investigation check up on Mang. Madam here's the information, you asked me to investigate about Gu Mang. A delinquent who fights and has been reformatory, how can Shangjin know such people? And even let them into our home. I must keep an eye on Lu Yang and Lu Yi, to ensure that they don't get led astray and become a dropout delinquents. Mr. Lee said right Gu Si matter is settled, and people will come over tonight. Mang was pleased, okay thank you for Uncle Lu's help. Gu Si seemed a bit confused. He replied it's what I should do. His wife asked, what's the matter with Gu Si? I've found a school for him. He is young, and his education shouldn't be neglected. Mrs. Lu pat his head, as he was just a child. Don't let Uncle Lu down, make sure you study hard, once you are at school but he seemed unpleasant upon her touch. On the street he started blabber about it. Daring to touch my head, truly seeking death. Scratching his head, feeling a little chill due to the cold wind. Mang buy me some clothes, mine are getting short. And he just heard about clearance shop, across the street. She just answer his call. Let's go. Cheng Zhu it's that mother and sunder again. His friend pop his head out of the window. 
saying her friend casually bid tons of millions at the auction yesterday, and she looked so calm. How come today she's pitifully buying clothes? Can she even wear those? Cheng Zhu glanced at her and felt mesmerized by her beauty. That unconsciously he said, pretty. His friends looked at each other smile, indeed a beautiful person would still look good, in a sack. Thinking that it's rare to see Cheng Zhu take an interest. Too bad she's already a mom. After all the shopping they felt hungry. She takes her brother to fancy restaurant for meal. He asked Mang, why did you bring me here? Isn't this place really expensive? She replied while holding all the stuff, to have a meal. He felt grateful but at the same time suspicious. Mang, you are suddenly treating me to such good food. I suspect you are not sending me off to school tonight, but sending me off the heaven. The last supper, she was making fun of him. Pretty much, eat up, it will make your journey easier. He said, I don't believe you'd bear do it. I'm so well behaved, where else would you find, such a precious little brother? While stuffing all the meaty food in his little mouth, someone says little brother isn't he your son? She glanced at them, it was Lu Cheng, Zhu that approached them, one of his friends said, so they're not mother and son. But siblings, they really look alike, Gu Si got furious, nonsense we are siblings, so of course we look alike. The kids got quite an attitude. Goosey asked are you guys leaving or not? Can you stop the disturbing our meal? Thinking so annoying, definitely charmed by my Mang's beauty. Such a clumsy way to hit on someone. They keep standing there, unless give them a scary look, while spinning the knife in her hand. Goosey thinking about the past, my Mang would already have stabbed him already. It seems Mang really has mellowed out over the years. Lu Cheng Zhu smile looking at her. Thinking able to afford heaven, dining at such a restaurant. Yet buying clothes from clearance sale interesting. These kids are growing. Don't disturb their meal let's head to the private room. Goosey thinking, some people just don't know what's good for them one. They all went straight up to room. One of them thinking, if we stay any longer, that girl's knife might just fly over here. Cheng Zhu looked back at them. And went on ahead. Later at counter he paid for meal. Gu Si went to settle the bill. So he told, Mang our bill has been taken care of, probably by that group from before. I'm just not sure which one of them did it. She replied okay let's go. Since their bill has been taken care of. Gu Si asked his sister, Mang wants some macrons. There's a shop next door. She agreed as it was his last free day. Go buy some, get the sweetest ones. He was overjoyed and went to buy some. At uncle's house the car arrived to take Goosey with them. Anything else to say to Goosey? If not, let him go. Mang pat his head, I see it now, and it's not a school but the military. He was feeling sad, by leaving alone by himself. Mang said you're a genius, but too weak. Mom and dad are gone, and our situation is dangerous. I might not be able to protect you if something happens. She tried to console him. I know, Mang, wait for me to come back. If anyone dares to bully you, I'll beat him to death. From now on, you'll use your hands to eat desserts and drink milk tea. I'll take care of fighting. He was crying to his heart content. She hugged him, and relieving his worries. Okay, be good when you get there, stay low-key, and don't try to show off, got it? He replied upon her request, I got it, wait for me. Then he take his stuff and went to the car. Mr. Lu asked, Song, this kid is smart, nurture him well and he'll have a great future. Understood, how could we not take seriously someone you recommend? As for you, it's been 20 years. Don't you plan on returning to the Lu family? Old madam's illness probably can't wait and longer. There's no long-lasting resentment between mother and child. The situation in the Lu family has been turbulent recently. Mr. Lu said hold on let me take this call. What? I will be right there. He seemed troubled by the call. Song asked what's wrong. He replied my mom's condition has worsened. Song. Lend me your jet. While Gu Mang was still there. Song said I'll make arrangements immediately. Get in the car. I'll take you to the airport. Mr. Lu asked Gu Mang, can you? She replied in an instant, no need to say more, let's go. He was worried. I hope we make it in time. They went on the helicopter to the airport.
At the capital, Mr. Lu said, I can't visit the Lu family. So I found someone to take you there. If I went there, it would just cause trouble. She said it doesn't matter. As she was not expecting a miracle to be happening. They together went towards the car, which was arranged by Mr. Lu. But to her surprise it was Lu Cheng Zhu, which was arranged. She's thinking why is it him again? Mr. Lu opens the car door for her. Mang sit in the back seat while using her phone. Cheng Zhu, look at her thinking, it's this little girl again. Could it be that the divine doctor, Uncle Bean mentioning is her? He smiled while thinking all of this. Upon entering the residence, Uncle Lu said Cheng Zhu, why don't you take Gu Mang inside? I'll wait for her here. Don't let her age fool you. There's probably no one in this world, whose medical skills can beat hers. Trying to make him understand the situation. Cheng Zhu said to uncle, let's go inside together. You've been away from home for many years, and grandma wants to see you too. As he was reluctant to this answer all right then. Weren't you supposed to attend the business submit today? Why did you come back? With grandma's condition like this, every relative, close and distant, is putting aside their work to rush back home. As the ground was filled with every single relative. Indeed, after all, it's about grandma's inheritance. Shush. Keep it down. Cheng Zhu looked at them as were murmuring. As he got angry thinking, grandma is critically ill. Yet these people are all coveting her property. I wonder if it makes her feel cold. As Cheng Zhu brought his uncle and Mang along with him, people looked at them and got suspicious. As uncle is also a part of family, may have come to take his property. A hand approached stopping them from entering. Wait. It was Cheng Zhu's aunt, saying Cheng Zhu you may enter. But these two behind you cannot. Not just anyone is allowed to enter our main residence. Cheng Zhu seems displeased with this. He gave orders to his subordinate. And he started move his aunt. How dare you be so insolent. A mere servant dares to be so rude to me. Miss. My apologies, get lost. Cheng Zhu said, I don't have the energy to deal with your squabbling. If you don't know what it means to behave appropriately, I can teach you for free. Giving off dark vibes. Everyone standing there got a wearing through this. As he lead them inside. The medical team inside responsible for grandma's health. Making the decision, madam is now experiencing a brain contusion and a mass causing pressure. And even after drainage, it is still ineffective. Given madam's age, she simply cannot withstand a craniotomy. A girl that was leading, a neurosurgeon and a family member of Lu family. With us performing the surgery, there's still a 1 in 4 chance of success. Without the surgery, grandma might not even make it through tonight. A complex situation while, taking a dangerous decision. Well, okay, then we will proceed with the surgery. Miss Lu, please take the lead. Gu Mang enters the room, providing them her peace of mind. In the patient's condition, you still insist on surgery. I bet she will die on the operating table. The girl yelled at her, as who she is to object her decision. Who are you to direct things here? Thinking what a fool who crawls out, from some corner dares to question my medical decision. Gu Mang challenged them, two days. According to Uncle's Lu understanding. Cheng Zhu, Gu Mang will need two days. He replied, she will regain consciousness in two days. She replied, no she will wake up in an hour. And recover fully in two days. Smirking at her experience, Cheng Zhu felt suspicious, fully recovered. Cheng Zhu's cousin said talking nonsense. Miss even a craniotomy takes more than an hour, what method do you plan on using to heal my grandma? Gu Mang replied, acupuncture. She started making fun of her. Acupuncture. This utterly unscientific and unsubstantiated pseudoscience, will heal my grandmother in two days. What a joke. Gu Mang opened her bag. Cheng Zhu asked Mang, are you sure? She replied yes. The medical team started mocking, curing illness is no child's play. Little girl it's okay to seek fame and recognition, but don't take human lives as a joke. Miss Liu is a world-renowned neurosurgery. Expert today, you a nameless individual, dare to question her medical decisions. Ridiculous. Miss enough with the jokes. We need to take madam to the operating room now. Miss Liu said, if you want to make a name for yourself, you would better have the skills. 
My grandma is not a lab rat. Uncle Lu said Cheng Zhu if you trust me, give Gu Mang an hour. A craniotomy is not urgent at this very moment. Miss Lu said, Uncle Lu, have you lost your mind? Do you really believe this woman's nonsense? Cheng Zhu glanced at Mang, she does seem really calm throughout. Arrange a room for Miss Gu, she will be staying here for two days. Miss Lu asked him, do you trust a stranger over me? He gave a clear statement, if you can't cure the illness yourself, don't blame others. She was left speechless at his answer. I want to see how she's going to cure. Grandma with acupuncture, thinking a few needles can do the job, what a joke. Gu Mang tie her hair with the pony, for the checkup. Thinking about what Cheng Zhu said, I didn't expect this man to have so much faith in me. Cheng Zhu was looking at her doing all those stuff. She opens her needle bag to start inserting the needles in body. She thought that he does have good judgment. Over all the things he do. What are your thoughts will she be able to cure his grandmother or not? Let us know in the comment section. That's it for today hope that you'll like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as it helps us a lot. This requires way too much time to be prepared. So your support keep us moving. And doing more, if you like the video. Then smash down that like button, share, and comment down below. How you like it, and if want a second part of the following story. Make sure to let us know. Take care bye.